Between 1946 and 1958, the United States conducted 67 nuclear explosive tests at the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. Now, researchers from Columbia University have tested the area for harmful radiation to determine that the islands can now be considered habitable, all but Bikini Atoll. Bikini Atoll was the site of 23 tests during the 12-year period, including the devastating detonation of a hydrogen bomb on March 1, 1954. At the time of the tests, inhabitants of the islands were moved to other locations. Though many of the displaced residents and their descendants wish to return to their homes, there have been no surveys of gamma radiation over the past several decades, leaving it unclear if the islands are safe to live upon. In new efforts to update this information, researchers flew to Marshall Islands and conducted gamma-ray emission surveys on three of the most severely impacted atolls, Enatak, Ranjalap, and Bikini. They compared the findings with readings from Majuro Atoll, an island far enough away to be used as a control. This location showed 13 milliarms of radiation per year. The readings were further compared with readings from Central Park in New York, which showed just 9 mrem. Why? For both Anatak Atoll and Ranjalap, the researchers found readings that fall within the safe zone, with 7.6 mrem, why and 19.8 mrem, why, respectively. But for Bikini at all, the radiation was much higher, the atoll showed a reading of 184 mrem, why? Though not considered to be terribly dangerous, this is higher than the minimum accepted levels agreed upon by the U.S. and Marshall Islands governments. The researchers say that further studies will be necessary to determine the habitability of Bikini at all before, with consideration to exposure from food and other factors before talks of living on the island can take place. In April, newly declassified photos revealed a glimpse at the 1946 atomic weapon test conducted on a hundred U.S. ships at Bikini Atoll. One of these was the World War II veteran aircraft carrier USS Independence. The two Bikini tests known as Operation Crossroads were carried out in the immediate aftermath of the atomic end to World War II in Japan, and signaled a new era in world history. Historians involved in the study say, the Journal of Maritime Archaeology gave over an entire issue to the collection of documents and photographs from the tests. This era was grimly summarized in a then-classified report on the Bikini tests, which suggested that, with the coming of the bomb, it was possible to depopulate the Earth, leaving only vestigial remnants of man's works. The explosion took place at the Bikini Atoll Lagoon situated in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. Testable was to be the first of a series of 67 tests in the atoll and the second U.S. nuclear test of over a thousand to follow. The explosion of the fission bomb, largely identical to the weapon used in the attack on Nagasaki on August 9, 1945, occurred 158 meters above sea level and had a yield of 23 kilotons. The main aim was to test the effects of nuclear weapons on ships. To that end, a fleet of 78 vessels, many of which had been captured during World War II, was anchored in the lagoon. The blast sunk only five of them, leaving another 14 seriously damaged. The wreck of the USS Independence lies nearly 30 miles off the central California coast.